YouTube. Yo, big up, man. Big up, everybody. Everybody who I check out the channel. Everybody who I show support. The big up on yourself, man. We're there. We're still there, boat, man. After everything, we're still there. We're not going away. I know the first loss, and maybe it's not the lot. Maybe it's not the last one, but you know, matter what happened, we're still going to be here. Still doing these videos, still getting these trucks, still running these loads. So, right now, I gotta drop this video. Um, Somebody in my comment, I think it was Capo. He asked me, how does the insurance pay out when you have a damage like a total loss? You gotta read the fine prints on that, um, that insurance policy. Some of them, for all of them it's different. Now, it's some of them that if you buy a truck and you have a total loss within the first year of owning that truck, they'll pay you back what you paid for the truck. So that's why you wanna read the fine print on the insurance policy that you get. Now, if all they're gonna do is pay you back for the what you pay for the truck, when you insure the truck, don't insure the truck for more than what you pay for. Cause they're not gonna pay you more than that. Now, how will they know that? How will they know you only had the truck for a year or it got damaged within the first year? Now, when you're dealing with an insurance company, for example, if you had called them to get insurance when you're going to get the truck, that's how they'll know when you had got the truck. In order to get around that, what you could do is, when you call to get insurance on the truck, don't tell them don't tell them you're going to get the truck. Just tell them you got a truck and you want to get an insurance quote, and you go from there. If they ask you how long you own the truck, try to get around that question without giving them the answers to how long you own the truck. A couple of things you could do. To find the value of your truck you could go to the dealer and have them appraise the truck some of them will appraise the truck for you um, the insurance company you could ask them what their truck appraise it okay, they could do that by the VIN number on the truck that'll show them all the specs of the truck uh, you let them know what's the miles on the truck if you had did any work to the truck like did an in-frame or rebuild the transmission or anything like that you want to send them receipts or all that stuff that will help the value of your truck go up to the insurance company so if you want to insure it for a higher amount than what you pay for it and you want to know what's the value of it that's what you could do to find out the value of it now if you own the truck for more than a year are you if you're with an insurance company that don't um replace the truck based on how much you pay for it that's a different story same thing to bring the value up on the truck any major repair you're done to the truck you want to show them a receipt if you never send it to them when you did the repair on the truck so say for example you own the truck two years you got in an accident, the truck got totaled, or you have a fire that totaled the truck, and you originally insured the truck for 20,000. You have a 2000, I just say 2012 Cascadia. You pay 15,000 for it, you insure it for 20,000, but you did an in frame on it, so that truck worth more than 20,000. So you want to send them paperwork on the in-frame to show them proof that you did the in-frame on it and that will bring up the value of the truck. 
when you have the total loss, they'll send out an appraiser to come and appraise the truck. And the appraiser, they'll appraise the truck based on what type of wheels on it, uh, how big your tanks are, the features of the truck, like if you have an APU on the truck, um, if it's a 10 speed or a 13 speed, it's all type of stuff they look on, the appraiser look on to get the value of the truck. Some of it they could get it by running the VIN number, but some of it they can't. So if the truck didn't come with an APU, originally when they make it, in freight, well, I'll just say Freightliner, in their system it won't show that the truck had an APU on it. So if you went ahead and buy an APU put on the truck, you wanna have proof for that just in case in the total loss, they can't see that on the truck. So that's how insurance um, payout work. So if you have a total loss, man, try your best to get at least what you pay for the truck. And based on that, you wanna keep up on the value of your truck. Soon as anything wrong with the truck, you wanna go ahead and replace it. You don't wanna go down the road with half your bumper missing um, your side skirts are bent up, some of them missing, stuff like that. Cause all that will lower the value of the truck, just in case you have a total loss. And you never know what might happen. Cause sometimes a total loss might not be your fault. You could be going down the road, somebody run into you. You could park your truck and it caught on fire. None of that is your fault. So if you have a total loss like that, you don't want to end up you, you don't want to end up on the losing end where the insurance company just want to pay you 5000 for your truck and 5000 can't replace your truck. Uh, there was somebody else on Facebook just went through that a couple months ago. His truck got blown over. The insurance company valued his truck at 7000 And I know he was making somewhere in the 7000 figure per week with that truck. Now the insurance company paying 7,000 for the truck and he can't replace that truck at 7,000. So he gotta go make that money up in order to replace the truck. So for my situation, I came out good. I consider I came out good on my situation. Now if you're just now checking out my videos, I'll go back on my videos a few weeks or about a month or so you'll see my incident of what happened with my truck that was a total loss and I came out I came out pretty good with it so if you have any questions man about this trucking thing feel free to leave them in the comment I'll try to answer them as much as I can your truck may be losing value over the years and it can also be gaining value over the years for example, if you had bought a 2007 Freightliner Columbia back in 2019 for about, say, 10000 right now, today, the value on that truck may be about fifteen to 18000 maybe even more, because the value of trucks have went up a great deal ever since last year. So what you could do is every year, when it's time to renew your insurance, you could check with your insurance company to see how much your truck value. And they could do that by running the VIN number and all the specs on the truck. I, rec I highly recommend doing that. That way you're not overpaying on your physical damage insurance. Because when you insure that truck for X amount of dollars, the insurance company going to repay you for how much the value of the truck is when the truck has been totaled. A lot of times we buy a truck and you might have the truck for five or ten years and you have the same physical damage amount on the truck when you first, first purchase it and never change it. And over the years the value of the truck keep going down. Yet still you're still paying the same amount in uh, physical damage insurance. That's why sometimes we take a loss on the payout when you have a um, 
told their loss, which if we're doing the reevaluation of the truck over the years, we'll be saving some money on insurance by keep lowering the amount that we insure the truck for based on the actual value of the truck. If you're still paying on the truck, the finance company might not actually allow you to um, lower the physical damage insurance amount on the truck. So check with the insurance, check with your um, finance company if you're trying to do it to see if they'll allow you to do it. But most of this information is for a truck that's paid off.